Yeah, nice. So, wow, one, one week has passed. And then last week we have Wesley Chan. And then this week we managed to find Peter Xiao to share with us his tips of uh, effective real estate video. We are so lucky. Okay, we are so lucky to have Peter. So a little bit introduction about myself and also Peter. Okay, before we, we, we give him a few exciting uh, questions here. So I am Philo. I'm the agency leader for Promnex Sabah. Uh, we designed this live show as exclusive sharing is because we want to inspire more people in audience, in Facebook audience, as well as to help out agents during this crisis. Okay, during this tough time, I think a lot of agents are, uh, are adjusting themselves to a new norm. And then, um, of course, uh, before Peter, we have uh, other other uh, other guests also. Uh, some of them also share about how they close sales uh, during this COVID nine uh, during this COVID during this pandemic. And then I've been doing this this sharing for almost almost two months. And then um, uh, I hope that we can continue like this to inspire more people with, because we need a more positive energy at this kind of uh, environment right now. And then, um, yeah, so today we are so lucky to have Peter. So Peter, a little bit about Peter, interesting story. So Peter started uh, at his young age uh, doing his own business. And then uh, he was also with uh, New Skin before as a Blue Diamond, okay? Salute you for that one, Peter. And then before he joined real estate, uh, before he joined real estate, I'm sure that he also uh, experienced a uh, lot more on his own business, lah, okay? And then uh, in real estate for five years, so before Propnex, he's a lone ranger, he said. Alone, alone, lone ranger. And then... Joined Propnex in October 2019. And in January 2019, after one year, okay, uh, Peter became our group leader. And then in his wing, he got oh, about 30 over people under him. So thank you, Peter, for being with thank us you. tonight. You. Yeah, very humble guy here. Okay. So yeah, humble and bubbly guy, I can say. So so today, Peter's going to share with us his tips on effective real estate video. Okay, why do, I, why, do, why do I find Peter as one of my guests? Because if you go to Peter's YouTube, okay, YouTube video collection, uh, I can say there's a, a lot of collection there. And then one of the video has 50, 50 over 1,000 views. Peter, how do you do that? This one we want to, this is the secret that we want from you, you know. So... <laughs> So you share with us, okay? okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Prop next culture, we like to share, right? So, so let me start with the first question to you, okay? Um, first thing for all, I'm very curious uh, about this name that you put in your YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's not Peter Xiao Real Estate, but you put Malaysia Property TV, okay? Right. It's a very attractive, attractive name here. And then why Malaysia Prop Next? Eh, why Malaysia Property TV? Why not just write on your own personal name like that? Oh, okay. Um, so um, about the name, uh, uh -huh. it took me quite a few days to crack my head to think of a name because um, I wanted a name that is uh, simple, short, uh -huh. and uh -huh. easy to re remember. You see, uh -huh. um, names such as Brad is so easy to remember. Mm. Uh, we even have it in our daily daily life. Do you want to grab food or that? Okay, so um, it took me a few days. Then uh, one day, this idea came into my mind. Malaysia Property TV, and I love this name so much, especially when you have it in a short form. It's called mm. MPTV, so it's easy. Oh, yeah, yeah mm. MPTV, so it's easy to remember. So if you look at a video, um, I have Malaysia Property TV. Mm -hmm. Then I will, I will string it into become uh, MPTV. Okay, mm. so that's how the. That's how the logo looks like mm. as well. So what I love about this name is, um, although we are focusing on local KL, although mm. we are focusing on KL, but mm. uh, we have buyers that can come from any states or even any countries internationally. So mm. this, this name is so well presented to the local buyer because uh, mm. it's the whole Malaysia and to the international market, 
it's so easy for them to remember that, okay, Malaysia Property TV, if I want to know anything about property, this is a channel where I will go into it and it's so easy for them to remember. So mm. I have this name. So mm. back to why I did not use my personal name, mm. it's because um, before, I start my, before I started my channel, mm. I realized that um, there's a lot of negotiators are facing challenges. So I'm not the first one who came up with the video idea. There are so many of them that have done it way before me. But we do realize that there are a lot of them, um, eventually, they gave up halfway. They mm. gave up halfway. So the biggest challenge that uh, negotiators are facing when it mm. comes to being present on social media, especially when it comes to video, because video is something that is not easy to produce, but mm. it's getting easier and easier now. It's mm. getting so much more mm. uh, easier now. So the biggest challenges, one of the challenges is um, the inconsistency to be present mm. in the social media. So the other challenge is um, the challenges of not being able to reach out to a bigger size of audience. Because when it comes to real estate, right, all of us, mm. we have our focus area. Mm. So for agent A, they may, be, they may be focusing on location A. Mm -hmm. So if, we, if I want to make a presence in the social media world, I will be promoting a lot of things about location A. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that is where I come to a point where I may run out of ideas. Mm -hmm. I may run out of content. Um, mm -hmm. I've done so many videos about these two girls. What else should I be? How many videos more you want me to be doing? Mm -hmm. yeah. But the problem is, if we only produce things on location A, people in location B, C, and D, and E are not going to be interested in what you are promoting to them. So why not, um, MPTV is a platform that is created for everyone from my di in my division so that they have a smooth journey in starting their first video. Because the biggest challenge is to start your first video. Mm. And the next challenge is how to be consistent. So this MPTV is a channel, a platform where it can help everyone to leverage on each other. Because today you may be focusing on location A and mm. um, she may be focusing on location B. And mm. the other one may be focusing on Mon Kera, and you may be focusing on Ambang. Mm. Yeah. So why not we have everyone together in this channel? So when you have your Ambang video out, people from Tamantun, Mon Kera can see your video as well. And when she has her Tamantun video out, everyone from Ambang, Mon Kera can see her mm. video as well. So mm. this is how we build a platform. And slowly, this will gradually grow to a bigger audience size. Mm. So it will make our life easier and easier to reach out to more people. Mm. Yeah. So well, that's, that's why I came up with this uh, platform, MPTV. So it. that mm. it's a win-win platform for mm. everyone mm. to start their video journey and to reach out to the bigger size of audience. So they will leverage into this uh, Malaysia Property TV, uh, I can say, plat uh, pl uh, platform, lah. I can yes, say something right. like that. Lah, yeah. Right? Very good idea. Very good idea you have. Thank My you second. My second question to you, what is your highest rate in that case, your audience uh, that view, as I mentioned just now, 50 were, were you surprised? Were you surprised that it come up with to 50 over 1,000? Or, or, or what do you think is, is the right lead that you achieve at such a high view numbers? Could it be a topic or is it because of the length of the video? Or how does it go about? Uh, I didn't. I didn't realize it uh, uh, because um, the 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 video that achieved the highest view was fifty two thousand views. It was a video that I've done um, pretty long back, um, at least uh, six months back. So the beauty of social media is, um, if someone likes your video, they will just share around you without you even knowing knowing it. So I yeah. think a uh, few things that really uh. capture people's attention is um, mm. um, high end and luxury properties tend to attract mm. more attention. Mm. And uh, when I say high end luxury, I don't mean that you have to be doing video for bungalow mm. and also that. Even mm. if you are focusing on properties such as five hundred thousand properties, right? Mm. But mm. if someone, if that property can represent a value of one million or eight hundred thousand, I think it's good mm. to do that as well. Because uh, mm. in social media world, what people like is uh, they like the impossible to become possible. They like to see things that is impossible, but you can make it possible to them. Mm. So these mm. are the things. And another thing that I realized that uh, may be important is mm. something that a lot of time we will be, we will, we, will, we will not pay a focus on is the thumbnails, the YouTube thumbnails that you have, the Facebook thumbnails that you have. Before even people click your video, um, they see the thumbnails that are attractive enough to click it. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. the next thing that we can have is if you have lost um lots of video in your channel, right? Then you can actually add in the cuts and the end screen. So when you finish about to finish a YouTube, right? Then there's another two video pop up. Oh, click this one and click mm. this one. I yes, think that yes. helps a lot as well. Yeah. Mm, mm. yeah, especially when you are doing the same category of properties, right? Then um, the people with the same interest would like to explore more further on the properties that you have. Mm, interesting. I I should have, I should try, I should try that one. Very interesting. So Thanks, okay. Please. So from 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 here, you 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 choose. Why do you why do you choose this kind of approach to to sell your property? It, you can do a lot of things. You can post in iProperty or whatever like that. But you choose this kind of uh, approach. Does it help you to have a quality leads? Uh? Yes, uh, it does. Um, so because people that will go to YouTube to mm. search for people who will see you are people usually who search for certain keywords mm. so people who yes. search for you right who search mm. for that particular videos who are able to find you are people who already have a strong interest in it mm. Mm. yeah okay but the beauty about video is compared to i property the beauty of video is uh, once you post a video right mm. even one two or three years later you will still get people calling you Oh, that is very good. Right. But um, when it comes to property advertisement platform, once mm. you stop advertising, that is where you stop getting the leads and inquiries. Mm. So um, so I started video platform is because um, I, I follow a lot of technology news. I like to see what is happening in the world, what is changing mm. the world now, and what could be mm. changing the world in the future. So mm. video is playing a very important role. So mm. I think from what we can see, how Facebook invested their effort and time and money to mm. create a, to make Facebook into a video friendly platform, to make mm. Facebook into a Facebook live platform, and how Instagram implemented IGTV stories. And mm. during the pandemic, how TikTok has grown millions and millions of users okay. in this short period right. of times. Right. right. So we can see that the role of video is getting more and more important. So mm. that is where people are going to divert their attention to. So mm. wherever people have their attention on, their focus on, wherever mm. they are going to have their time spent there, we mm. should be present there. If not, we will be uh, out, of, out of the game. So especially now during the pandemic, right? Mm. During the pandemic, um, after this lockdown, uh, we have seen that a lot of buyers are changing their behavior. The consumer mm. behavior are changing. So. Mm. Buyers, home buyers, they are looking for an alternative way other than physical viewing. Do they have mm. any other option where they can buy a property through video, or they mm. can buy a property through? Uh, uh, they have a, can, they can have a different experience with mm. the agents. So we can see that uh, during the pandemic, that a lot of our colleagues who are closing mm. deals without showing the houses right. as well. Yeah. So that is where we are moving towards. So we have to know what is um, going to happen. And one thing I love about video is um, it helps my seller to have a smooth selling process, especially for sellers who are staying in that house. So this mm. can help them to filter the buyer by having mm. less physical viewings mm. in the house so that they mm. can enjoy the whole process of mm. uh, selling. And mm. when you have your video on the social media platform, right? You are mm. able to target your video to the selected group of people that you want, the selected mm. location of people that you want, and people mm. with the selected interest. So that is the beauty of uh, video. And w one thing that is great about social media world is uh, people love to share. Uh, they love to mm. share with their family. They love to share with their friends. If they see some mm. video about um, Philo told me that before that she's looking for a bungalow house. And mm. if you saw this video about bungalow house, she would just share it to you. Yeah. So mm, it's true. Whether, whether they like it or not, the video is going to pop up in front of them. Mm, yeah. But true, for, for property advertisement platform, you will need to go at property to search for it. Yeah. Mm. So your friends is not going to do that. But when mm. your friend in the Facebook, when they saw something like this, they will share it with you. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. It's true. It's very true. Right. So which means that okay, that, uh, it's, it, which means that in YouTube, so people search for it, and then after that they can share it with their friends, and then and then uh, so which means that if you showcase one house like that, and then the whole yeah. your the the friend can actually apparently see the whole house ready as a as an open house like that you know so that's I think, right that's right ah, so it's a very good it's a very good idea okay right. my next question to you okay so what are the challenges that you have experienced okay in developing a good video and how do you overcome it 
Okay, um, the challenges that I've experienced, I think uh, most of the bigger challenges that everyone will have mm. um, in developing a video mm. is to have your first video out there. So <laughs> I started my first video uh. somewhere end of, um, I think somewhere in the middle of 2019. Mm. I am supposed to have my first video started since a year back. Mm. So one year before that, okay. I have already had this idea of doing a video. I mm. strongly believe in video. I strongly believe that video is going to change. It's going to be the next thing. Mm. But the thing is, I kept telling my my associates, I kept mm. telling them that, hey, you should be doing video, you should be doing video, yeah. you should be doing video. But I'm not doing it. <laughs> but I'm not doing it. Okay, mm. because I'm... Um, uh, a year ago, more than a year ago, before I had my first video, I still uh. had this uncertainty on how the internet world is going to respond to it. Mm. Okay, so I think one of the biggest challenge um, my advice can give to everyone else mm. is to start by accepting the not so good video that you have done, uh, because oh. you may think that it's not so good, but when you post out there, a lot of people think that it's so good, it's good enough already. But the biggest challenge that we have is ourselves. We are so not used to having us in the video, seeing ourselves in the video. We are so not used, used to it. Yeah. <laughs> we are so not used to it. So, um, we are the biggest critic in our video. <laughs> and even if you are doing a video editing, you still feel, even if you are not in that video, you just edited a video, you will mm. still feel that my video is not good enough. Yeah. Mm. So, should I post it on there? And my advice to everyone out there is, your best video is the first video you posted. Yeah. Whether it's good or bad, it's going to be the first video posted because at least you took the action. Mm, you wow, very... need to start somewhere, somehow. So I attended this um seminar. One of the seminars I attended, um, this um, very famous uh, digital marketing guru, Gary Vaynerchuk. So mm. he had a 30 minute sharing. I enjoyed his sharing so much. And one of the sentences he spoke that I mm. remember so much on was um, that he said, the sooner you are immune, to how the outside world look at you and comment about you, the sooner you will be successful in the internet. The sooner you will overcome all the challenges you have. So mm. it took me Very so good long advice. to get my first video. Mm. Uh, my friend did my first video for, for me. Uh. He did my first video for me. And uh, once he did my first video, right, I, I told him that, okay, thanks for the video. I will decide when to post it. <laughs> so I didn't want to post it. But a few months later, some owner told me that I saw your video. <laughs> so I was thinking that who's the one who posted it. But trust, when he posted the video a few months back without mm. me knowing, then mm. when I knew about it, when my owner told me about that, mm. once I saw the video, my first feeling is a sense of relief. Mm. Actually, it's not that hard. You just need the video to be out there. Correct. Yeah. Right, yeah. Correct. Just need the video to be out there. So I think the biggest challenge is... Um, having your first video uh, out there yeah uh, very yeah. good very good ad right. very good advice or very good tips so for for those yeah. that who haven't done any video yet and then you yet you you keep on want to try out and then after that then then you don't have the first step i think uh, i think peter today motivates those who wants to do it la, okay yeah, so the, i can do it you all can you guys exactly, can do it yeah exactly so my next question to you peter yeah so which app do you recommend? Okay, which app do you recommend on editing video? Uh, and how, how does it, does it cost uh, roughly how much? And then is there any free app that you can recommend? Or, or some of us in this, uh, in this is very new. Uh, uh, what to learn and practice from this, from this app? What's, what's your takeaway? What, can, what tips can you give it to us? Okay, um, if you are a laptop user, Mm. Uh, there's one software that I love a lot is uh, mm. Wondershare Filmora. Okay. Wondershare Filmora. Okay. So you can try the free version. You can even edit the video with a free version. You can even produce a video with a free version. But the problem is you're going to have a watermark there. So if you don't mind about it, if you want to try on your first trial stage, you can go with Wondershare Filmora. Until mm. you are happy with the software, until you find it comfortable, then mm. you can actually start using, uh, you can start paying it. So it costs around 40 USD a year. So it's mm. around... Okay around okay. close to maybe less than 200. So yeah. I think it's a very good software very, to start. Yeah. If you are a computer very reasonable user, price. 
very reasonable price and it can help you to produce so many videos especially when you're in real estate mm. um, less than 200 is a very very low investment cost for exactly. you to start your exactly. video journey if mm. you're a phone user smartphone user you can go with uh, an app called InShot I'm sure a lot mm. of us know yeah. about this okay mm. Um, one of my associates, uh, she produced a whole property walkthrough video just by using InShot. Oh, and amazing. It looks, like, it looks like being edited by using a professional software. Everything mm. just by the tips of her finger over the phone and mm. she produced an amazing video. But for him, he, if, if you are happy with it, uh, for InShot, you can use a free version. But if you are happy and if you want to advance further, he paid around 50 ringgits for the whole InShots uh, paid apps. So he are able, he is able to edit amazing videos with it. Okay, mm. then another one is um, Luma Fusion. Mm. L-U-M-A for Fusion, Luma Fusion. Okay, mm. and the last one that I like to recommend is TikTok. Um, you can edit amazing videos just by using TikTok. There's so many video editing features in it. Uh, yeah, uh, so many I've... video editing features in it. So. Uh. There's no way for us not to edit the videos because uh, there's so many support given on these free video editing apps. Mm, uh, I should try. I should try on that one. Good tips. Good tips, Peter. So my I, next question to you: Are you able to give us uh, tips on creating a very good video? Like like you, you have created so many good ones. Any tips from your side? Uh, okay. So for videos, right? My first advice is. Um, always be prepared. So mm. when I say prepared, right, uh, mm. be well prepared. So today you are presenting a house, a property to someone. So mm. for you to be prepared means that you need to understand everything from the outside, the facade, whatever that has something to do with properties, you need to be the person who knows about it. If you mm. don't know much about how to present it, then you need to invest more time to do it. So from the facade, up to the interior, up to the style, up to the materials they're using. I will mm. actually invest a lot of my time on Google to find out about this. And mm. if I can't get the answer from Google, I will actually call up or meet up with my professional fans, like uh, interior designers or that. I will ask them a lot of things like, hey, um, what style is this kitchen? Uh? What style is this living room? Uh? Uh, that is where we learn. That mm. is where we learn and that is where we build our, our skills. So the good thing about video is um, it, it helps you a lot to improve on your viewing, on your mm. presentation of viewing because you really put in the time and effort to study uh, about it. Then the mm. next advice is to re rehearse and rehearse again. Mm. Um, do a lot of rehearsal because for me, I'm not a natural, natural born talent on video. So mm. I need to do a lot of rehearsal. I, mm. have to start, I have to start by memorizing my script. Then yeah. it gets better and it gets uh, better. Mm. So one mm. way for those who have never done your first video, I have a uh, here's a very good things that you can try. Um, for you to think of, for you to do a property walkthrough, mm. it may be hard. But mm. if I were to tell you to introduce three, three must go foods in KK, would it be easy? If mm. I'm a tourist and you do a video and you and I want you to do a video, I'm introducing. Me three places must go restaurants in KK. Is that easy? Easy. Okay, so what would be the first one, Pilo? Oh, well, a lot of Sang Yuk Min La, you know, all this. Uh, then the new, second one? New Chap La. And new then Chap La, that, okay. Uh, <laughs> so just imagine you are in the house. Just imagine you are in the house, you are in the living room. That's store mm. A, Sang Yuk Min. So start by introducing your living room as the best Sang Yuk Min store. So this is the Sang Yuk Min store. Why? Do I want to recommend this Sun Yomin store to me? It's because I love whatever about this store. Then walk to the kitchen, that's store B. That's where your ngao chap, your ngao chap, or ngao uh, chap. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's where your ngao chap is. Uh, okay, so why I love our ngao chap is because they have their original sauce, their favorite sauce. Whatever you love to introduce, um, start with that. But walk around your house and start practicing it. Then the third store, the store C, is in a big mm. room. So mm. why you like about the store C, why you love about the foods there, proceed to a bedroom and introduce it. So mm. as you go on with this, then you go, you are very familiar with the flow. Mm. How the flow works, then you can start to add in some properties and elements into it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so okay. that is uh, for the 
rehearsal part. Well, I'm so I'm so excited already. Probably, probably I will talk to talk to some of our agents. Hey, come, let's try out this this. Yeah, this. Try in the meeting room. I try with exactly. my agent in the meeting room. So she uh, has to introduce me three favorite foods in the yeah. room. But it, it helps. It helps because um these are things that you're good at. It's just that you mm. don't know that you can be this good in terms of property walkthrough. You mm, just know yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. another tips is um uh, always think of why would people invest five to ten minutes of their time in watching mm. your video. Mm. If, if it's possible, start your video by having a ten second powerful phrase. Have you ever oh. imagined living in a five hundred thousand properties that can give you living in a five hundred thousand double story house in the heart of the city, something like mm. this? Mm. Yeah, a powerful phrase, five to ten mm. second phrase, because um when the video pour out in front of someone. Uh, that someone is going to spare you five to seven to eight seconds of their time mm. for you to deliver the message to them. Mm. Then they will decide if they are going to continue that video. Mm. Yeah. So always uh, start with a powerful phrase. So the title on top also quite the, the title also you put also quite important. Uh, I suppose it, does it follow your phrase or the title of your your YouTube or it's just the name of that that property? What do you what's your advice? Uh, the title plays a very important role because. Uh, Especially in YouTube, mm. people are going to whether the person can find your video is through the title mm. and through your description as well. Mm. Through your description, mm. um, a lot of us mm. don't know that whatever we put in a description are also mm. going to be part of the keyword search, mm. right? Mm. So mm. your title will determine which page you mm. are going to be on, and mm. your view rates and how people respond to your video is going to decide which ranking are you in the page. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, um, title is very important. If you mm. you can maximize the whole length of title, try to maximize it mm. and try to write a uh, writing a good description is mm. very important as well. So mm. if if let's say in your description you have your main Philomena Chai, then mm, so mm. once you go YouTube search for Philomena Chai, all your video with that description will pop up as well. Mm, mm, yeah. mm, mm. Well, I should learn from you. Huh? Like we have. Personal call later. We will get some <laughs> tips from you. Thanks, get some thanks. tips for you. So okay. Uh, so looks like looks like you're quite busy with editing, and you know how do you how how many hours do you spend in a week to spend and on video editing, and and how about your actual sales? How do you balance it? How do you balance your time? Okay. Um. To edit a video because um, I'm a. I'm a negotiator, mm. so my time should be focusing on uh, generating sales. Mm. Yeah. So to edit a video, it will usually takes you. Uh, mm. If you are new base, it will takes you half a day or a day time. Some has even gone up to two days. Mm. Okay. It will help you a lot by doing. Um, what will help you in editing a video a lot is uh, if you know very well what kind of video you want in uh, in the end result. If mm. you know very well, then uh, it will help you a lot into uh, editing. Okay, mm. so usually a video it takes you half day, a day, or uh, two days. For those who are very good in editing, they can do it in an hour time, two hours time, because they know very well what they need to do. Mm. But mm. as a sales professional, you can start by editing your own video. But if mm. you are planning to do it consistently, mm. uh, I would suggest you to to engage a professional to do it for you, because mm. video editing is uh, pretty time consuming. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. So wait, so your your so for for you that you have, uh, like your your agents for for them that which is very new like that they take two days two days three days to 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 edit, and then uh, do, do you sit down with them or they 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 do it on their own? Um, they do it on their own because uh, nowadays it's so easy to edit your videos. Um, you can uh, get everything from YouTube. Uh, um, if they really don't know on certain things, uh, um, I can actually do a zoom with them to show them, uh, or I can actually we can even record a screen by yeah, showing I, them step by I step. I suppose so. Yeah. It. So it's um, it's it's not hard. It's easy. It's hard. And uh, I'm also learning. Some of them are even better than me when it comes to uh, video editing. Uh, yeah. So okay, another question. Okay, so how? What is your advice on the length of the? The, the video how many minutes do you think that you we don't go go beyond how many minutes like that for uh for 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 a video for a real estate video do you think okay, seven um, minutes five minutes in youtube um mm. 
a quality video, if I'm not wrong, has to be three minutes and above. Uh, oh, three minutes. Anything minutes. below three minutes, right? It will probably affect your scoring system in YouTube, especially those videos that is less than a minute. Um, usually, your video is not going to be shown to a lot of audience out there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Mm. But um, for audience out there, mm. most of the people they would prefer a shorter time frame. Mm. A shorter mm. time frame. So this is um where you try to strike a balance. Uh, mm. uh, whether your video should be delivered to people who are serious in that property, who are really interested in that property, because some if for those who are interested in that properties. They don't mind giving a eight to ten minutes time watching the whole video, but for someone who has just an interest, who just mm. want to know about your property, they may always comment that your video is too lengthy. So mm. for me, mm. I would suggest the video not to be more than ten minutes. Mm. I think, um, depends on the size of the house. Mm. If that house is huge, like I mentioned, mm. you may need to take ten minutes time. Mm. Yeah, mm. Mm. Like, mm. yeah. This like but this like. This like one of the bungalow house that you you managed to sh shoot the the nine rooms bungalow right, houses. Right. It takes you uh, that that video. I think it's about seven minutes, right? Seven minutes. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, it's somewhere around seven minutes. I watched until the end. I said, "Wow, Thank this you house." Thank very is much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A, Peter really showcased the whole house, and then right. and then I was like enjoying it. I watched until the end. I said, "Wow, I also have wow dream house lah. This one, this one, nine right. rooms." Nine Thank room. you very much. And um, if someone, um, if most of the people who watch your video, uh, they watch finish your whole video, uh, then yeah. it's also going to help in terms of your scoring system. Ah uh, yes, I, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Right. I, I have a, I have a, I have a, uh, uh, another question to ask you before. I think we spent almost about forty minutes here. There are a few more questions I want to ask you. So do you, do you have any? Uh, any special equipment do you use to record your video? Oh, uh, um, special equipment. Well, if you want to record a professional video, the best uh, way to engage a video effort, look for a videographer that can partner with you for long term. Uh, okay. If okay. let's say you are recording yourself, mm. um, like I share with you mm. about my negotiator, my associate uh. who record a video with InShot, uh, everything uh. through the phone. Oh, okay. The phone. But for uh, real estate video, um, if you have the capital, I would suggest you to invest in stabilizer. Mm, uh, stabilizer. Mm, uh, okay. If you are doing a lot of lender houses mm, or industrial commercial, mm, I would advise you to invest in a drone. Drone, okay. Drone that okay. can showcase the whole uh, location. Whole area. That's the beauty mm. of uh, in Malaysia, um, we still can show a lot of drone shots, but mm. in a lot of countries, it's very restricted. Yeah, restricted, yeah. In Malaysia, we are still able mm. to do yeah. mm. So, invest in the good Drone. phones because mm. nowadays, phones, right, the video quality is amazing. Correct, 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 phone, correct. They can shoot a wide angle and you yes. can shoot full anything with a phone. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, very good tip. Very good tip. So, and, uh, of, mm. lastly, a mic. The mic is very important. Whether your voice, your sound uh. is clear to uh. deliver the message, that is uh, very important. Do you buy any particular uh, brand mic or are you, there's one called Syntec something like that somebody trying to introduce to me but I'm 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 not sure yet is that one is uh, a good one I think for mic right uh, mm. uh, mic that is less than hundred ringgit is good enough mm. um, just depends on if you want it wireless or if you want mm. it with wire if mm. you don't mind using a wire mic right with uh, mm. less than hundred you are able to get a very good mic that can deliver mm. a very clear message. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah. But uh, okay. some can go up to 500 to 1000 for the wireless mic and some has even memory to mm. record the voice then transfer it to your phone in the okay. later stage. Yeah. I have a, I have a, I have a very uh, experienced uh, uh, videographer agent actually also uh, pm me directly okay and then said hey, ask, ask peter on this this kind of message okay this kind of question so i asked you uh, this is from him i think he's okay. he's in the he's in this life okay he said okay. that how much how much do you spend uh, to produce a video or any good tips on how to collaborate uh with a videographer uh okay uh so for video right uh, I spend 
roughly around a thousand ringgit, uh -huh. eight hundred to a thousand ringgit. So okay. that is uh, what we spend in the video. So okay. if you want to collaborate and get a good rate, right? I mm. think uh, one thing that is um one thing that we can talk to the we can work out with the videographer is um if we are a team of people that we want to produce a video, we can deliver quantity. Mm. Monthly, monthly we can mm. deliver quantity, and. Mm. One thing that we are, one thing that we can work very well with videographer is uh, most of the time they shoot during in the weekend. The peak, the peak is the weekend for them. That is mm. where they have the events. That is where they have the weddings to mm. shoot. Okay, mm. so for us, we don't have to shoot in the weekend. Weekday. We shoot the weekday. So mm. weekday is usually an off peak for mm. the videographer, and some mm. of them they can actually spend some time to shoot a video. So mm. it's actually, it's, it actually doesn't affect their usual routine. Mm. Usual routine. So that is something that we can work out with a good videographer as uh, with mm. a videographer partner as well. For mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Very good, very good uh, answer that you have. Okay, my next, my next few questions, my next question to you, uh, Peter. Okay, why prop next? Okay, and what, what, what are your biggest improvement that you see in yourself? since you joined Propnex? Okay. Um, I love Propnex. Um, I love the mm. cultures and the trainings. Um, in mm. fact, before I joined Propnex, I was looking for a company, a platform where uh, I can grow a team because um, mm. that is my goal. I want to grow a team. But I want to look for mm. a platform that uh, my associates and my partners are going to benefit a lot. Um, having, uh, they are able to learn a lot of mm. things. Sadly in, mm. um, sadly, in real estate world, um, it's yeah. hard to find a company with a culture of sharing. It's hard to find. Mm. So mm. I found Propnext. I love how everyone, I love the sharing culture. The training mm. has added a lot of value to us. But the sharing mm. culture is where it makes the trainings amazing because everyone is sharing. And I remember, I remember um, one, there was a time where you were visiting KL, right? I even requested you to be do a sharing for my team and you see you agree to it right away. So yeah. that is what I love about um, Pronex. Everyone is so willing to share. Mm. And uh, same goes to other leaders and top producers who are willing to share. Yes. The beauty of um, online world is now is uh, we can share around throughout everywhere just by going yeah. online. So yeah. that makes the sharing culture even more amazing because we can learn from so many of the top producers not only in Malaysia but in Singapore as well. So mm. this is what uh, a company with a strong culture is where we can build a long-lasting uh, mm. organization and team. Mm. Yeah, mm. and mm. this sharing culture is um, so hard to build in the company. Correct. Yeah. So, hard to build. so that is uh, why I'm I chosen Pronex. Mm. I, I made the right decision by choosing Pronex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So me as well. When I when I first time when I visited. Singapore and also uh, yeah, visit Singapore. People there are so humble, and then they, you know, they 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 are bosses, big bosses, but they are very humble. And then the yes, culture yes, is yeah. so diff The culture is so different. Okay, few few more questions. Okay, we have already spent almost forty five minutes here together. Oh, time passes so yeah. fast. Correct, correct. <laughs> forty five minutes. Uh, two more question. Okay, any advice for those agents that newly joined into this industry? Uh, okay, um, for new agents who join into this industry, I think one thing that helped me a mm. lot uh, in my first year as an agent is uh, mm. to treat this like your own business. Mm. Don't treat it like a job. Mm. Don't wait for the leaders to mm. be telling you what to do. You treat mm. it like a business and think of it like a businessman. That how am I going to grow this business? How am mm. I going? What, what is the marketing channel? Why is the advertisement channel mm. for me to get uh, my products, my listings to be marketed out to the people? And mm. what, what, is, what, what are the people searching for? Where are, the, where are these people going to see me, see my presence mm. uh, in the social media, in traditional platform? Where are they mm. going to see me? So treat it like your own business. Treat it like um, a business that you... You, uh, you, you can't give any reason to feel. 
Mm, yeah, mm, because mm. I believe that in real estate, right, anyone can succeed in this business. It's just that whether you have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. If Correct. you have a fixed mindset, even though you close a deal, you still think that this business is not right for you. But if mm. you have a growth mindset, if you haven't closed a deal for two months, you will still look for ways to close that deal because Correct. you know that you will succeed in this uh, industry. And mm. always remember for the new agents out there, is um, new negotiators out there, we are in a paper business. So mm. whatever we do, Whatever we do, we firstly we have to build relationship and trust. Always mm-hmm. remember we are in people business. Because mm-hmm. the day when you start real estate is the day when you start getting involved in relationship with your clients, the mm-hmm. trust. Okay, mm-hmm. so if you do this well, then you are mm-hmm. creating your branding like Philo Mina. Mm-hmm. So I love a lot about Philo Mina <laughs> because she has such a strong branding in uh. Uh, in KK. Yeah. So we are in a people business. The mm. most important thing is um, for people to trust you, to like mm. you, and to deliver your promise to them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And that's my advice to the new agents. The yeah, I, I, I like your advice. That, that's the thing. Uh, some, some agents, um, as I said, either you fix mind, uh, fix minds, uh, you know, I, either they, they, they just, they just uh, have a mindset of, uh, you know, uh, I can say positive or negative, lah. Okay, yes, probably right. exactly. Uh, so positive or negative. So at, at this moment, right. so all those new agents that join, uh, join in the real estate industry, okay, keep moving there, cha yo. Okay, I think yes. I think yes. yes. And then Propnext, Propnext has a very good platform for for us to keep on pushing with each other. You know, to encourage with each other. So yes. these are these are Propnext culture. So hey, I forgot to ask you, Peter. <laughs> I forgot to ask your GTA, your 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 geography target area. Actually, your where is your area that in in, in KL side? Are you in Bangsa Angpao? My GTA oh, is uh, Damansara Bangsa, uh, uh, Damansara Bangsa area. I, okay. I focus mainly on uh, high end properties like bungalows and mm. uh, high rise uh, condos, which is a large size condo, which is two thousand square feet and above. Oh, okay. Wow. So this wow. is my focus. Mm, okay. Yeah. So audience, if you if you if you uh, have time later, go and look for uh, Malaysia Property TV, which is under uh, uh, under under Peter here. So uh, Peter, we have spent our time almost uh, almost one hour. Okay, one, uh, yeah, almost one hour here, and then I'm so grateful that 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 you come live together with me and share your your tips. You know, tips on your tips on effective real estate video so Thanks for those for me. uh no yeah. problem so for those that who wants to explore more okay please right. tune in into into peter's uh youtube channel which is the malaysia property tv okay and then uh, from there you can even uh even look into all his all his video and 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 all all uh your teams your team your team's video there yeah. so, for anything, you can uh, I, uh, PM Peter at your Facebook, P- Peter Xiao, right? Okay, yes. Peter Xiao. Okay, um, so it's it's uh, it's a good uh, sharing from Peter, and then next week we have probably we have another sharer. Uh, hopefully, we can get as good as Peter. Okay, as good as Peter. Yes, and then hopefully uh, we will see Peter again in our next sharing maybe another one or two months probably he has another new video to or on another new tips to share with us so peter thank you very much for tonight thank you thank you, Philo. thank you for having uh, me no problem thank you so much for thank you i enjoyed the whole session very much Philo. Hey, no you. problem yeah. so hopefully hopefully we can we can meet each other okay either in very kl soon. or in kk very, very soon okay yeah. so have a good night Thank you, Peter, again. Good night to everyone. Good night, Philo. Take care. So, thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.